Hey, what's up? This is Spider Prime 1 back again with another Transformers video review. Alright, this time I'm looking at the second figure in the Rage Over Cybertron um, uh, box set. Um, this time I'm looking at uh, Rage Over Cybertron Optimus Prime. Now, like I said in the last review, um, when I was explaining the, the new cosmetics to the, to the toys, um, the reason why Optimus um, and Bumblebee have all these new little uh, cyber glyphs or uh, like new little details all over them and they're different colors is they've been infused with the Energon according to the back of the box the Energon that powered um, the Golden Age of Cybertron so this is technically light Energon as opposed to dark Energon um, so now that I've got that out of the way, getting to the toy. Um, it's the same, obviously, it's the same as the uh, the original Optimus Prime. Um, still rolls just as good. Um, I like the differences um, on uh, just some of the smaller details, and they'll become more evident in the robot mode. But like uh, how the old Optimus Prime, he had red around the tires, um, red... I guess headlights on the on the front of the truck, um, stuff like that has now all been replaced with yellow, at, due to the the new uh, Energon infusion. Um, his gun is the same as last time, has the little spring gimmick. Set that off to the side. Um, now in Bumblebee's video, um, you'll see that Bumblebee had a lot of the the brush, uh, the like the the battle damage um, steel brush look effect to it. Optimus only has it right here and right here in vehicle mode. So not not really much on the uh, battle damage for Optimus. And then um, as you can tell this has all been recast in uh, clear plastic. None of the rest of the figures in clear plastic just the shoulder pads, the little back piece and uh, what eventually will be the chest. So, transformation. I'll fold this piece up. And fold this piece up. Fold the shoulder pads back after you untab them from the uh, front of the truck. And move these panels out. You know, come down here. And then we're going to separate the legs. Fold down the kneecaps. Oh, by the way, he loses his uh, tail lights in the repaint. He still keeps the little glowy bit on his kneecap, but he loses the, the tail lights because those are red and he now has the yellow accents. So that doesn't fit. So we're going to fold this back down, fold the tires to the back of the leg, fold this back up, twist around the exhaust pipe, and tap it to the leg. And then flatten out his toes, and adjust the foot. So, okay, we're going to separate the leg here, extend it up. We'll do the toe real quick. Okay, fold this back down, tires to the back, fold this back up, twist the exhaust port, and then tab it into the leg. So now his legs are done. 
Now what you're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to um, we're actually going to lift up the forearms first, and then we're going to flip the big tires back, which will allow us to move the arms out and down. We're going to flip this before we move the other arm, though. If it'll turn, come on. There we go. Okay, this is still forward. Um, we're gonna flip the uh, chest around, collapse, then plug in, complete the little belt, I guess. Um, twist the forearm and fold out the fold out the fist. Put the head down, and then this little back piece just folds right back up there. And then these little pieces come back for elbow guards, I guess. And then you have Rage over Cybertron Optimus Prime. Put the gun in his hand. Stand up straight. If you will stand up straight, come on. There we go. Bring him closer. So as you can see, he's a lot more... To me, he looks a lot more G1 accurate with the yellow instead of the red. Um, although his shoulders weren't all that yellow. Um, so, comparison with the original Optimus. And all his little red bits. So pretty much everywhere that there was a red bit, knees, belt, chest, arms, um, the little dots right on his shoulders, has been replaced with yellow. Including the little Energon lines, like through his chest, through a and everywhere else. Um, the Autobot symbols, instead of being the red Energon Autobot symbols, I guess, because in the in the game they fluxed with all the other Energon veins. Um, he now has the G1 accurate, no symbol over here, silver symbol right here. So, in a, in a lot of ways he is a lot more G1 accurate than this one. Um, and he looks really good. Um, if you could, if you like, find this guy on his own, I would probably say he's more worth it than this guy. Um, but still, they're both the same figure, so they both are really awesome. Um, but all in all, if you want to go for more G1 accuracy. Go for this guy. If you want to go for more video game accuracy, go for this guy. That's about all I can tell you um, in terms of which one to choose. Um, so that's the comparisons. Um, but no, I this is really a good set so far. Bumblebee was really good. Optimus is great. And I've saved the best for last. Um, so, I'm Spider Prime 1. That's Rage Over Cybertron Optimus Prime. Looking at the camera. And I'll be back with Rage Over Cybertron Megatron. But until then, signing off.